Hey, what's up everyone? You're here with Goran from Pig Dogs, and you're here for your free picks for Saturday, May 27th. Well guys, after uh, taking a bit of a break for Friday because we had only one game going on, we have a very, very busy weekend ahead of us. Uh, we are finishing Bundesliga on Saturday, and we are finishing the EPL on Sunday with uh, 10 games on the schedule. And uh, it's going to be an exciting day, uh, it's going to be an exciting weekend because we will find out who the winner is in Bundesliga and that is the only league uh, that hasn't been decided of, of, of all of the top 5 European football leagues. So, like I said, it's going to be an exciting day. We have 9 games on the schedule in Bundesliga, all of them are at 9.30 a.m. Eastern and uh, I think we're going to see some outstanding football and uh, possibly we're going to see the end of the the reign of Bayern Munich in Germany uh, because Borussia uh, Dortmund at the moment is at the top of the table. Uh, if you want more free picks, go to the Pig Dogs YouTube channel, guys. Check it out. We do have a lot of that, so make sure you subscribe and, of course, make sure you hit that like button. If you want my best bets, click the link in the description of this video and that will get you up to my page where you can sign up and uh, see what else I have going on. So let's get this show on the road. Uh, the first game we have to talk about is in La Liga, actually, and that is between Sevilla and Real Madrid. It is the only La Liga game on Saturday, and uh, it's going to be an entertaining matchup because uh, Sevilla is still in the competition for the Conference League. Uh, of course, that could change uh, if they, by any chance, win the Europa League, which they are in the finals of, and uh, at that point, they will be qualifying for the Champions League automatically, so they don't have to worry about that. Uh, but at the moment, they are not there yet and uh, they still need a couple more wins if they want to reach the Conference League spot. Uh, Sevilla has been playing really well as of late. They haven't lost any of their last uh, six or seven games, six games, while coming off of a draw against Elche, uh, which was surprising. It was 1-1, but uh, I don't think that uh, they mind that score because they actually fin are finishing the season strong. Uh, compared to the first half of the season when they were close to the bottom of the table and they were in, in the relegation zone for a while as well. Uh, in the head-to-head -head matchups against Real Madrid, who, by the way, is coming off a win against uh, Rayo Vallecano, uh, they don't have anything left to play for except maybe that second place uh, if they want to stay ahead of uh, Atletico Madrid. And uh, I think they do, so I think they will approach this game... Uh, with a winning mentality, they will try to get a win here, but so will Sevilla. So I think we're going to see a fairly open matchup where uh, at the moment both teams are conceding goals, but uh, then again, both teams are scoring a lot of goals as well. So I'm going to go with both teams to score it over 2.5 in this one. It's minus 103. Uh, honestly, I think this game could go either side because the Real Madrid has been a little bit sloppy on, 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 on the road. So I think Sevilla has a decent chance of picking up points here. But uh, I'm going to stay away from the sides and uh, I'm going to go with both teams to score and over 2.5 goals. Now we are moving on to the Bundesliga, guys. And like I said, we have a very, 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 very busy day. And the first game we have is between Köln and Bayern Munich. Now, Bayern Munich dropped points against Leipzig last week. They lost that game 3-1. And uh, with that, they have given the top of the table to Borussia Dortmund. However, they are not done yet. Uh, Bayern Munich has to get a win here. The only way they are going to win the title, they have a chance of winning the title, is by beating Cole on the road. It's not going to be an easy task uh, because Cole has been known to surprise Bayern Munich, especially at home. It didn't happen often, but it did happen and uh, they will definitely uh, be playing at the top of their game because they are in good form right now. They have lost only one of their last six games and their fans, their Ultra fans have already said that they will be celebrating every single goal Borussia Dortmund scores uh, and uh, it will be hell for Bayern Munich to play on the road against Köln in probably the most important game of the season. So uh, I do expect Bayern Munich to be the dominant team here, definitely. But uh, Köln, like I said, is playing really well right now and uh, we usually see a bunch of goals in this matchup and it's not going to be different here because Bayern Munich has to go for the win. And then Cold will definitely uh, get enough chances on the counter attacks to get on the scoreboard. So uh, instead of choosing the sides and even both teams to score, I decided to go with over 1.5 goals in the first half. It's minus 130. That's pretty much one of the the only picks that has any value because even over 3.5 is is uh, pretty highly priced. So 
I would rather take over 1.5 goals in the first half and uh, hopefully Bayern will step up uh, from the first minute and uh, try to finish this game as soon as possible. So Cole against Bayern over 1.5 goals in the first half. In the second game we have uh, Union Berlin playing against Werder Bremen and uh, Union Berlin at the moment is in the Champions League spot however they are tied with Freiburg on points they simply have a little bit better goal difference and uh, if they want to play in the Champions League they have to go for the win here. Luckily for them uh, Werder Bremen is one of the teams in Bundesliga one of the few teams playing on, on Saturday that uh, doesn't really need anything they can't get to any of the European spots, uh, they can get relegated, so they're playing this game basically uh, just to finish the season and make it a bit harder for Union Berlin, but Union Berlin is the team, the only team in Bundesliga that's still undefeated at home this season with 10 wins and 6 draws, so seeing how they did a win, uh, I'm gonna take Union Berlin, and, but I'm also gonna add goals here, I'm gonna take Union Berlin to win at over 2.5 goals, it's minus 109, uh, Werder Bremen has been scoring a lot of goals uh, in the second half of the season and they actually might get to the scoreboard here as well but uh, I think this is going to be all Union Berlin so I'm going to go with Union Berlin to win and over 2.5 goals. Now we are moving on to that second matchup that uh, will decide the title as well. Uh, Borussia Dortmund like I said at the top of the table playing really really well right now on a three game winning streak in Bundesliga however they need a win here. Well, technically, if Bayern doesn't win their game, they don't need anything here. But all Borussia Dortmund can do is take the, their fate in their own hands, uh, put themselves in the control of this match, and uh, the easiest way to win the title for them is to win this game. Now, Mainz, uh, they can get to Europe, uh, they can get to, uh, to the relegation zone, they are safe, they have nothing left to play for, but that doesn't mean that they will give points to Borussia Dortmund. Uh, maybe they would like Bayern more to win the title, but Mainz is now on a four-game losing streak. While Borussia Dortmund has 14 wins, one draw and one loss at home. And like I said, they are on a three-game winning streak right now. and They're playing really, really well. Uh, a little bit of a bad news for uh, Borussia is that they might be without Jude Bellingham in this game. And that potentially is a problem. Uh, but I think they have enough depth and quality to beat uh, Mainz here and uh, for that reason uh, I do believe that Borussia will win however the prices are insane there's no value in anything so I decided to go with over 11.5 shots on target between the both teams combined it's minus 132 even that is expensive as hell and uh, we need to see 12 shots on target for this to hit but I think that Borussia Dortmund on their own can get us at least 7 or 8 shots, if not more. And then Mainz will add a couple more, in, in my opinion, as well. So, uh, over 11.5 shots on target in this Borussia Dortmund versus Mainz game. For the next matchup, guys, we have Borussia uh, Mönchengladbach playing against Augsburg. And Borussia is one of those teams that doesn't need anything uh, because they are safe, for, safe uh, from, from their relegation, far away from any of the European spots. While well, Augsburg on the other side is safe right now, but theoretically they could still end up in that uh, in that playoff spot or potentially even in, in, in their relegation zone itself. But uh, you know what? They have been doing some decent job as, as of late. They have been scoring a decent amount of goals. And I'm going to keep this one simple, guys. So uh, I'm, I'm going to go with both teams to score another 2.5 goals. It's minus 143. The books are expecting it. I think that every single better in the world, better in the world, is ex is expecting goals in this game, and uh, I'm definitely one of those. So, uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach against Augsburg, both teams to score and over 2.5 goals. Eintracht and Freiburg have a very very big game going on, guys, and uh, it's mostly gonna be for Freiburg because, uh, like I said, they are tied with uh, Union Berlin for that last Champions League spot. And uh, if by any chance Borussia uh, Union Berlin doesn't get a win, uh, Freiburg has to get it if they want to play in the Champions League. Uh, now, Eintracht hasn't lost any of their last seven home games. and They have improved their form quite a lot. But uh, Freiburg has been a very, very tough team to beat this season. And because of the fact that they need a win here, that's the only way they will have a chance of playing in the Champions League. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Freiburg on the money line, guys. It's plus 170. We can see that they are the underdogs here, not the big underdogs, but still, 
Uh, I get that they're playing on the road, but uh, with so much being at stake, uh, I'm going to go with Freiburg. I will give them a shot here, and uh, whether we lose this one or not, I'm not going to be sorry, because uh, the reward, the potential reward, will definitely outweigh the risk, in my opinion. So, Eintracht against Freiburg, I'm going to go with Freiburg on the body line. Leipzig is hosting Schalke, and this is a very, very big game for Schalke, while uh, Leipzig on the other side is now on a five-game winning streak, and they definitely don't need anything here. Whatever happens in this game, whether they win or lose, they will remain in that third place. That is the Champions League spot. And they might potentially be arresting some players here because they are playing in the DFB Pokal Finals against Eintracht uh, next week. And uh, that's a trophy that they have won last season. And uh, they will definitely try to do everything they can to win it this season as well. Uh, Schalke on the other side is in the relegation zone right now. And uh, with a bit of a calculations here, uh, they might get in that relegation promotion playoff spot even with a draw. Uh, but uh, in that case, they will need to uh, expect Bohum to lose their game. But uh, the safest thing that Schalke can do here is to go for the win. Like I said, Leipzig doesn't need anything. That's a plus for Schalke. But then again, Schalke uh, hasn't been showing that much. In this season overall, they have been pretty much a lot, lot better in the second half of the season. That's why they even have a chance of staying in the league. But I'm afraid that the only way they will be staying in the league is if they get a win in this game. So, uh, with that being said, I'm not willing to risk anything on Leipzig here. Because they don't need anything. So, I'm going to go for a full value of Schalke here. I'm going to take Schalke to win at over 2.5 goals. Plus 440. Now, uh, it hasn't happened often that Schalke kept a clean sheet. I'm not sure it's going to happen here, but I definitely think that they will need to attack. They will need to score at least a couple of goals if they want to get a win here. And then hope that Leipzig has a bad day, that uh, they disappoint after that stellar performance against Bayern last week. So, I'm going to give it a go with Schalke to win at both and, and over 2.5 goals at plus 440 couple more games, actually three more games left to do. And uh, first of those is Stuttgart against Hoffenheim. Now, Hoffenheim is safe. Uh, they will be staying in the league. While Stuttgart, uh, they're not out of the woods yet, even though they are above the relegation zone right now uh, with uh, 32 points, which is the same amount of points that Bochum has and only one point more than Schalke. Uh, but uh, Stuttgart is a pretty big favorite in this game and they actually have been doing a decent job as of late. Uh, they are coming off of a nice win against Mainz 4-1 on the road, which was a key win for them and that might be the win that's going to keep them in the league. Uh, but then again, Hoffenheim has beaten Union Berlin 4-2 uh, at home as well and uh, they have been showing some signs of life as of late as well. So. Uh, instead of choosing a side here, because honestly I think this one could go either way and, Schall and, and Stuttgart hasn't been the best defensive team in the league, uh, I'm going to go with both teams to score over 2.5 goals. Minus 137, I expect an open matchup because neither side has the defense, so I think we should see some goals on both sides in this game. Now, Bochum is hosting Leverkusen and uh, this is a very important game for both sides. Uh, for Bochum, of course, because they are in the relegation zone, well, in the relegation playoff spot, uh, and potentially they will be getting up or down, depending on the other results. But uh, the only way they will stay in the league for sure is if they get a win here. Uh, Leverkusen, on the other side, hasn't won any of their last six games. And uh, they are now in sixth place, uh, which is the conference league spot. However, Wolfsburg is right there behind them with 49 points. And uh, Eintracht is uh, there with 47 points. So uh, Leverkusen has to get a win here if they want to play in Europe next season. Now, do they want to play in the Conference League? It's not the most prestigious competition, yes. But uh, it will bring some money into the cash register uh, of Bayer Leverkusen and uh, give those younger players a little bit of experience of playing in the Conference League. But in order for that to happen, Bayer Leverkusen has to get a win. And I think they will. I think, I think this is the, going to be the game where they end their negative streak. And uh, I'm going to take Bayer Leverkusen on the money line. It's plus 105 right now. And uh, I think that win of Leverkusen might actually uh, send Bohum to Bundesliga 2 for next season. So I'm going to take Leverkusen on the money line. The final game of the day in the Bundesliga is between Wolfsburg and Hertha. 
Uh, like I said, Wolfsburg is still fighting for Europe. They definitely want to play in the Conference League. They have said that. It, it, it's going to be a huge experience for them. Uh, in order for them to do that, they need to beat uh, Hertha here, who, by the way, is getting relegated. They can't save themselves anymore. Uh, but they also need to hope that uh, Leverkusen won't beat uh, Bochum. So uh, not only that uh, Wolfsburg has to win this one, they are dependent on some other results, but all they can do is control their own game. And for that reason, I'm going to take Wolfsburg at minus two. It's plus 135. The mood in Hertha is not good. They are done for the season. They're getting relegated. So I can't really imagine uh, them having any motivation here to play this game, especially on their own. So I'm going to go with Wolfsburg minus 2 at plus 135. Now we are moving on to the Italian Serie A, guys. And the first game we have is between Fiorentina and Roma. Now this is the second to last game uh, in, in, in Serie A this season. And uh, I think this game will be interesting because Fiorentina is coming off of a loss in the uh, Coppa Italia finals against Inter. That was a game that they lost 2-1. But overall, they have been performing really well this season. Uh, unfortunately for them, they really can't get to the Conference League spot anymore. And uh, they will be uh, without any of the European competition for next season. As far as Roma goes, theoretically, they still have a chance of getting to that Champions League spot. Uh, if not to the Champions League spot, they definitely want to keep this, European, uh, this Europa League spot because they are now in, in sixth place with 60 points. While Juventus is behind them with, with 59 points. Uh, and uh, Juventus is in that conference league spot. So uh, neither team has been performing that well. Uh, especially Fiorentina. While Roma is on a three game draw streak like, right now. But I would say that they are the better team at the moment. And they will not be as tired as Fiorentina is. After coming off of that uh, that Coppa Italia finals. So uh, in this game I'm going to give it a shot with... Uh, uh, with Roma on the money line, it's plus 260. I don't expect a super exciting game here, to be honest, but uh, I think that Roma can score that one goal that will get them uh, the necessary three points that they need. And uh, after that, uh, they can start worrying about the, the Europa League finals that uh, they will be playing in. So, uh, Roma Fiorentina, actually Fiorentina Roma, I'm gonna go with Roma on the money line. Inter and Atalanta are facing off in the second match of the Serie A that we have going on and uh, both teams are still fighting for that Champions League spot. Uh, Fier Atalanta is in 5th place with 61 points, that's 3 points below uh, AC Milan, while uh, Inter is in 3rd points with 66 points and they're coming off of a nice performance in the Coppa Italia finals, which they will definitely try to continue here. Now Inter has been conceding a lot of goals this season, they're averaging just over a goal per game. Uh, while well, Atalanta is scoring about a goal and a half uh, on average. And uh, I think this is going to be a game without much defense on, the, on, on, on either side. So uh, I'm, I'm keeping this one simple. I'm going to go with both teams to score, guys. It's minus 141. I think it's going to be a decent matchup. And I think we're going to see at least a goal on each side. So Inter against Atalanta, uh, both teams to score. Now it's time for us guys to move on to the French League 1 and we actually have a full slate. We have 10 games on the schedule. Uh, all of them are at 3 p.m. and uh, this is also the second to last uh, round in, in the French League 1. And even though PSG hasn't secured the title yet, they are very, very close to doing it. Uh, Lens on the other side is the second place. They are playing against Ajaccio and as we can see, they are huge, huge, huge favorites here. It was very, very hard to find any value in this game. And uh, I, I understand why, because Ajaccio is getting relegated uh, while Lens is fighting to stay in that Champions League spot uh, that will get them straight to the uh, group stage. And they also are on a huge winning streak. They have won five of their last five games. Uh, 16 wins, one draw and one loss at home, while Ajaccio hasn't won any of their last 11 games. Uh, I had to dig a little bit deeper for the value here, but I did find it in Lens team total over 2.5 goals. It's minus 130, still a little bit more expensive, but uh, I would say that's probably the best pick that you can get for this game because Ajaxio has a horrible defense and Lens is scoring a lot of goals right now. So Lens team total over 2.5 goals. In the next matchup, guys, we have Marseille playing against Brest and uh, this potentially could be a very interesting game because... Uh, Marseille uh, will be staying in the Champions League spot. Uh, they will, uh, unfortunately, in my opinion, have to go through that uh, additional qualifications because there's no way Lens will lose 
uh, both of their last two games. And even if that happens, Marseille will need to win both of their last two games. And uh, it's not going to be an easy task, especially in this one, because Brest is playing really well right now. Uh, they have won their last two games. They're scoring goals consistently, even if they lose games. So uh, I'm going to go for, for full value here on, on Marseille. And that is Marseille to win and both teams to score. Plus 205, I think that's a great price because Marseille at home has been outstanding this season and uh, I think it's going to stay that way. So Marseille to win uh, and both teams to score. Ren and Monaco are playing for that uh, for that Europa League spot, guys. And uh, thanks to Monaco's uh, slow performance of late, uh, Ren is definitely uh, the favorite here and it's going to be well-deserved favorites because... Uh, they have won their last two games, 4-0 against Troya, 5-0 against Ajaxio, uh, two clean sheets in a row, that's quite impressive uh, for a team that has been struggling a lot defensively. And then again, Monaco on the other side hasn't won any of their last two games, however, they did score a goal against Lyon uh, last weekend and that was a bit of an improvement for this team. Now, with uh, those Europa League spots being at stake here, I think that... Uh, Monaco will try to step it up here and uh, I think they will get on the scoreboard because there's no way, way in hell that Red can keep th uh, three clean sheets in a row. So I think that both teams to score in over two and a half is the way to go here. Minus 129. I like the price. I like the matchup. And uh, I think th I think this is going to be quite the exciting game between the Red and Monaco. So both teams to score and over 2.5 goals. And in the last game in the league one that we have to talk about, uh, Strasbourg is hosting PSG and uh, potentially in this game PSG will secure the title once again. But uh, I'm going to keep this one simple guys. I'm going to stay away from sides, stay away from uh, uh, from goals as well. And uh, I'm going to take the pick that has been winning us money uh, on PSG over the last few weeks. And that is for Mbappe to have over 2.5 shots on target. This is plus uh, 170. I can't believe that the that the books are giving us this good of a price. Uh, Mbappe had like five shots on target in the last game. He scored a couple of goals. Uh, the entire PSG team did well. And like I said, they will definitely go for the win here. And once again, Mbappe will be leading the charge for PSG team and securing them the title. So uh, Strasbourg against PSG, Mbappe over 2.5 shots on target at plus 170. That's it, everyone. Thank you for joining me here. Uh, and thank you for taking the time to watch this uh, extensive video. It is a bit uh, long, over 20 minutes, but we had a lot of games to go through, a lot of free picks. And uh, it's going to be very similar on Sunday as well when we are finishing the EPL. So uh, stay tuned for that, guys. Check out the free parlor of the day video up on the Pink Dogs YouTube channel. And that's it. Good luck with your bets. And uh, I'll see you soon with more free picks.